Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. That's my forehead and my Skull Goonies shirt that is reversed. I was told it does not say Goonies. <laughs> and this is more Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree, But I'm Bad. A playthrough that started it all was Elden Ring, my first Souls game. And then and since then, I've played every other Souls game. One, two, three, Demon Souls. Bloodborne, all the extra stuff. Both new God of War games, both new Jedi games. They're Souls-likes. Ish. Kind of. As well as Final Fantasy VII Remake and then Rebirth, which is the last game I played for the But I'm Bad stuff. And uh, I am just glad to be playing a game that... Even if I'm getting crapped on by bosses, which we haven't really been. We've been... We chewed through a few last time. I mean, Monster Mashed the Lion Dancer for fun. But I do believe I have... I do believe I have found... The door? Yes. Friendly? Hello. Um, do I need an item? I can put on the lion dancer's head. Does that help? Oh, I see someone. Oh, they're trying it as well. Did that do it? <laughs> Maybe not. Were they also trying to see how they could talk to, uh, know where this is? Oh. Oh, this is the woman was talking. I felt the sacred beast's essence fade. A great anxiety welled up within. Forgive this old woman her foolish fears. Hmm. It is such relief I cannot express. After an eternity of the mind, our voices have at last reached the heavens. As evinced by thy gracious arrival. Oh. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> oh. Quiet. I implore, vessel of the sacred beast, have my son accompany thee to war and dance thy dance of beauteous color. Spirit Ash? Mesmerity's lot. They who betrayed us, I, they who burned us, let them face in thy wrath their just deserts. My song will I sing in service to thee. Watchful spirit. thy collar into the most resplendent of dances my song will I sing in service to thee oh sculpted keeper my song okay so you get a who horn decked beast from higher sphere delivered we beg of thee to dance and cavort Dance and cavort, cleanse all that thou wilt, cruelty, woe, and those who plague the tower, cleanse away the strumpet's vile progeny. Armor required ahead, yep. No, it's an incantation, yep. Someone's a guardian spirit above the caster's head. Hold on. She's going to keep talking, isn't she? One moment. (laughs) 
An entreaty received from the Empyrean Grandma. Oh, grand, Grandma. Grandum? Grandum? Hey, almost Grandma. She was Grandma. Summon a guardian spirit above the caster's head. The spirit never strays far from the caster, conjuring several apparitions before dissipating. Take vengeance upon Mesmer and his lot. They who betrayed us, I, they who burned us. Let them face in thy wrath their just deserts. So it's it's just a spell. 26 faith spell that summons a guardian spirit that con conjures several apparitions were disappearing. So is this kind of like the um, the sorcery where you can summon like the swords that fly out? Is this the incantation version of that? I gotta gotta go to a bonfire and check I guess. Will she freak out if I take this helmet off? Or probably not. Stuck in her own world now. Hello? Okay, it just loops us back around and that's it. Alright. Well then. <laughs> yeah, great. Gundam? It may have been a Gundam. I mean, technically you're wearing a suit, so... This is where the casters were up there. All right, so that solves that. And I think that might be everything then. I guess I can go back and get, get my runes for just posterity's sake. But they are kind of out of the way. Do you need to go the other direction? Was there an item over there I didn't see? Nope. There's a ghost in that waterfall though. That might be everything. I'm gonna take the elevator back up. I don't remember if I missed because that was the one door we couldn't find and I thought it was the way we were going was going to to like loop around the top of the castle or the tower settlement so other than other than getting these runes back I just So if we went all down there with the flies, it's almost like just, it's just a punishment mechanic. Are you going to aggro? Are you going to burp ghost flame at me again? So I have to go around to get back to angry swordman. Who's, who's blasting at me? Oh, you're blasting at me. Why am I the weird targeting now, dude? Oh, see ya. Oh, no. There you go. stuck down there, aren't you? Hi. There you go. See ya, I guess. Again? What the heck? Oh, threw a fireball at the other guy. <laughs> Hit him in the head, too. There you go. There's the rest. You want one more? I got one more for you. There you go, bud. Hey, thanks. I've got little bits of mana regen now, so I can just cast spells. Yeah, this is your bait. This one aggro's first. No, don't ag don't lock onto the dude down there. Oh shit. Don't don't lock me in your endless attack pattern. This one is golemified until you fight it. <laughs> is that a new rock song? Ghosts in the waterfall? It could be. It sounds like it could work. All right, big boy is over here. Oh, this guy respawned? Huh? 
they do they drop anything? Or they just respawn, but they drop nothing. Oh, okay. To show you where they were, I guess. That was weird. All right, here's big angry swordman. Oh my God. Dude, this guy is zero chill. Absolutely no chill. <laughs> oh my goodness. I couldn't even cast my two part combo with my sword. Yeah, too bad. Too bad you're in a Dark Souls game or a Souls game. Uh oh, is he is he making it over here? Ew. He almost did. That curved sword move set is nasty. Look at all my blood. <laughs> Look at all my blood. So I got bodied by him right over here. I tried to get out of this doorway and it did not work out well. Heidi ho neighbor. So that's just a shortcut. Well, not a shortcut. But that's the punishment path. If you fall down. So that means the only other thing we have to do is get on the rooftops. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh boy. Which the rooftops are where the casters were, at least the connection point. But I think I have to do it twice because there's a left side and a right side. Because this just jumps down to the other large man that has no chill although that one is vastly easier yeah those are the roofs we want to get on over there so we have to go back to where the casters are oh, hi oh i missed this the well depths key oh by chance by random chance of us like, oh, I'll go this way. Opens the iron gate or iron grating at the bottom of the well in Belarut, the tower settlement. A crude corroded key. We found it though. We definitely found it. So the well depths. Just putting a note that I found the well depths key. I want to, I need to get to a bonfire, a side of grace so I can put this spell on and see if it does any, if it does any good. Oh, that's right. This is the other part. Yep. And you just got to, hi. <laughs> How was I just, just shy? That ghost just watched me fall right in front of him and then just like laughed at me. Over the edge you go. It was like the first area. We can just walk around. I just want to go back to where the casters are. Hello. Yeah, I'm not supposed to come from this way. He's confused. This spinny man. Yep, yep, yep. I care not for you, spinny man. This is where the casters were. So we can go this way. Bye bye. He's <laughs> very confused. Uh, yep. Ooh, that's a spicy little corner jump on that awning outside the window, I guess. But see, yeah, there's two different paths. So there's that side too. I don't know if it connects. No, that's not jumpable. It'd be jumpable if I had torrent, but no torrent. So I have to essentially go back around and then go that way. This item right there. Which again, could be a fan dagger. 
<laughs> Sombering Spithing Stone is fine, I guess. I don't think I'm going to be using those, but depends on new items that are somber. I do want to go back and check what we get for the Remembrance, our first Remembrance boss, the Dancing Lion. We read it, and I do have some dupes remaining. Oh, can I get back up still? Oh, yeah, over here. I do have some... Oh, someone just fell. I do have some duplicates that I can utilize depending on if there's any nice loot. Although I might want to save. I think I have three left. I know I duplicated Melania, even though I didn't even turn in her sword. <laughs> I got the Scarlet Ionia and then I have never used it. Yeah, maybe I should. I don't know. Okay. What you got? Mm. Oh, Silverhorn Tender. Not, uh, not amazing loot. But we are right by the well. So, that works out. We can figure out what's down here. Squeeb. Kind of worked out well in the, the pathing there. It was a little bit... a roundabout way of doing it, but we got there. So, what does this connect to? A new area or just more of this or a boss fight? <laughs> oh boy, this looks like a boss arena to me, don't it? It looks like a boss arena to me. Can I, I can't summon here though. Interesting. Is this poison? Yes. My, my, my. Well, then. If that is the case... I'm going to be running through this place. I'll have to deal with a little bit less mana, but I'll take the poison up. There's just no way there's not going to be something that spawns from here. And that also might do poison damage. Some flies. Wow, this whole area is very... Reminds me of the Shaded Castle. Strong foe ahead and then Talisman. Oh, really? Is the boss fight over there. <laughs> or was it one more of those Chakram Dancer dudes? That's the new Strong Foe Ahead call-out, mostly. Hello. If only I had giant butthole. Let it be known, many hours ago, I said I was going to play offline so I didn't get soap soap messages. And then, and then look, look where we're at now. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Hello. Okay. So in the trailer, they showed an ulcerated tree spirit. This is an ulcerated tree spirit. It's going to spawn here. God damn it. Ow. 
I know how to fight these things, but damn it. I must have to deal with the poison, I guess. Oh, really? I didn't think he was doing that attack. I thought it was backing up. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. I thought you were going to swirl around me. Like that, yeah. You're blowing up. I have to drink my juice. Oh, I thought you were... Damn it. Oh, damn it. I keep trying to wind up. Oh, come on. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You can interrupt that now? I, I, I drank? Oh, I'm out of drink. I, I didn't realize. Okay. So not... Not a boss health bar ulcerated tree spirit, but so like a Bella Bella rat ulcerated, I don't know, swamp spirit question mark. I don't know what it's called. Uh, fastest way to get back there. I think it's just to run down this way, right? I don't need uh, the poison resist now that I know it is the ulcerated tree spirit. I just want the, uh, I would like to take the damage, please. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> At least that's a different model. It, it looks different enough, but freaking I knew that I, I watched the trailer and I was just like, hmm. Hmm. What was that tracking, bruh? What the heck was that? It spun all the way around. <laughs> it's a 180 in the air. That's funny. Um, I'm going to switch weapons here too. Either go Godslayer Greatsword or go Blasphemous Blade. Let me go Greatsword here. I don't need this. I will, however, take this. Just in case things get a little too hairy. I also don't need Tish right now. Can't use her. So this way is the tree spirit. The other way is who knows what. But this, okay, and it's not, I thought it was blocked. It's not blocked, okay. can't get the double hit off. It's just that much faster than I remember. At least this one is, is it's a little bit quicker. And it's animation timings. Oh, I thought it was breathing. That's obnoxious. Yeah, doing that attack. Oh, it's too far away, huh? That sucks. Hmm. I want to get 
his tail. Oh! So my super armor there still works. I kind of went for it. Excuse me, the fire was actually hitting his model. Did you see that? The fire was in his model and apparently it didn't actually land. That's annoying. That one did finally. Good grief. <laughs> oh, immunizing horn charm plus two. Just totally skipping over the plus one somewhere. Vastly raises immunity. Ceremonial accoutrement worn by horn scent. Vast raises immunity. Immunity governs resistance to poison and rot. Oh, that's interesting how it actually says it on this talisman, but not the others. Horns are sublime artifacts to horn scent, and their presence confirms the belief that they are a chosen people. Only the repeated sprouting of fresh horns can create a tangled horn, which is viewed as an irrefutable symbol of primacy. Hmm. So big poison resist talisman. That's pretty freaking cool. How much does it raise it by? It's weird how you have to go to the other screen to check. It doesn't actually show in this one. Get to go to the other one, but if it says vastly, I must mean that's like the new tier because we have raises, greatly raises, and then vastly raises. And this one only is immunity, whereas this one is like robustness too. So that's like bleed and frostbite, and then focus for sleep and madness. So this one is only against poison. And that shoot up my uh shoot up my my flasks there looks like I double tapped once when I didn't want to because of the I thought I had the heal off but it didn't go off so I tapped again but that's the wrong button yeah there's not there's not gonna be any freaking illusory walls man All right, that almost, I don't know if that felt different just because of the scaling or if it was actually tweaked to be just faster because some of its follow-up attacks were just quicker where I was used to be able to like run. I could get inside the pocket and get the whole sweep off. No problem, but this kept getting caught. So a little bit, a little bit faster on the draw there, I guess. I guess you might as well do this. We're going to be down here a little while. <clears throat> wow. Vastly. It's also still a weird system that because it raises your allowable amount, you do immediately technically get poisoned. Because if I walk in here now, it's going to keep building from there. That was a weird thing in, in how they've coded resistances in games where you add maximum amount, but it gives it to you and then it deteriorates, but you have to wait. Went back to Blasphemous. We were fighting in the poison, so might as well have some self-healing if I need it, if I get poisoned up and I don't want to... I probably have a ton of things I can craft. Can I just craft them? Uh, oh, yeah, I can make 49 of them. Although... I thought I had... Isn't there one that did multiple? Maybe it was an aromatic. Great dragonfly heads. Hello. Hello, fly guys. Hello? Alright. Standing looking at me. Not even turning around. 
Just myrtleizing his friends. Ooh. And the, the, the mist fog effect hurts my eyeballs. I do only have one more flask. Really? Oh, you're the different one. You okay up there, bud? I can't really get to you. This is a weird jump. Be poisoned, though. Can I please use the ability? I'm trying to... Use Taker's Flame like six times. I don't know what happened. We're out of juice. Such as a poison swamp will do. Oh, good serpent arrows. Oops. Doesn't even reset me all the way. Hmm. I see. My, my, my. There's an item over there. That's the way up. Oh, shit! What the hell was that, dude? Nah, I shouldn't trade blows with this guy. Horned Warrior's Sword. I wonder if that's a guaranteed drop. Oh, a purple item over there. I don't know if I can aggro it or not. Horned Warrior Sword. Low faith, strength, and dex. That guy's aggroing me, but he can't get off the building. Horn calling invokes tangled horns to cover the weapon's blade. Drive the weapon into the ground, calling up a cluster of piercing horns. Oh, so he actually did it. The other one never cast that before. Curved sword of the horned warriors, keepers of the tower. The ornamental tangled horns allow the blade to serve as a medium for horn calling. Eh. Horn calling. Okay. Very well. They may have nerfed the knockdown effect, but they definitely didn't touch the damage. The poisoned hand. It's a... It's a weapon? 28 arcane causes poison buildup. Poison Spear Hand Strike. Ugh. A glove stitched together from the flayed skin of the victims of a butcherous bloodbath afflicts targets with deadly poison. Raises attack power when poisoning occurs in the vicinity. So it already has the built-in... The, what, the helmet effect? Or the, the amulet effect? Or whatever? Or both? Forged of an unyielding black black impulse towards really black well translation japanese word like the goku black it means bad like black goku is bad goku but the direct english translation is just the color like my shirt forged of an unyielding black impulse towards revenge fostered in those who have had everything burned or stolen from them these are the weapons of an utterly, uh, of the utterly downtrodden. 
Then Poison Hand or Poison Hand Spear Strike makes hand into the shape of a spear before unleashing a plunging stab that penetrates the body of the enemy, afflicting foe with a large dose of deadly poison. Okay, damn. So it's just physical with poison buildup. C in arcane scaling at plus zero. Now, that's super thematic and neat. Poison is always kind of like dog tier in in most FromSoft games. The only time poison is actually like super cracked was in Dark Souls 2. Because I guess it was just bugged and I never fixed it where it ticked faster. So it actually did it did meaningful damage, basically. So it actually did something when you used it and you're like, oh, wow, this actually this, this does damage. It's not chip damage that dinks and dinks for 7% of a, of a, of a mob's health after it ticks for 30 seconds. It's just like it actually did something in Dark Souls 2. So I'm not sure that's super neat as one of the new fist weapons to deal poison damage. But poison is again, always been pretty bleh. Oh, I don't over there. I see. Ah, too high up. You're right. I'm just some mushrooms. Well, all right. That was an experience. That was a little sprinkling of poison swamp because you have to. Now, this door doesn't open, but there is a ladder here. It's a ladder? Yeah? 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 All right. It's like a freshly dropped rope ladder, too. Who put this here? Did Mikola put this here? Can't Mikola just fly? <laughs> I hear more flies more bugs am i missing some bugs are they up here there's another another door is this the oh crap the level design though oh my god that's so cool bud that's super cool That's the connection all the way back here from the poison freaking swamp. Damn. That's cool as hell. Well, I think that's all of Bellarat Tower Settlement then. That was excellent. I, I guess I don't know. It shows so much tower up here, all the thorny madness, but you really don't. You don't participate in anything with it. Unless I've missed some secret hidden something. And a horn scent grandum. Grandom. I'm going to go back and talk to more. He's just chilling over here. I don't think he's going to have anything new to purchase, but he's a sweet boy. Welcome. I like finding things for you. That's such a good delivery. I love that. I like finding things. You just hear the smile creeping in. It's so good. So damn wholesome. Okie dokie. Goodbye. Goodbye. Any new dialogue after I cleared out this whole place? Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Oh. Dialogue options. Also, he calls me Righteous Tarnished. I'm holding the Blasphemous Blade. <laughs> Ask about the person in the Vidigri armor. Speak of the cross at the tower. Oh, yes. Yes, I did find one. Well, I'm much obliged. Mm. 
As suspected, kindly Mikola has visited the lands which hold the tower. Yes. And appears intent on wholly dispossessing himself of his flesh. Yeah. He must be seeking entrance to the Tower of Shadow. The what? That? Okay. Way to MacGuffin the heck out of me. That's a thing? That's not just like some weird reflection that is actually a place? That's the DLC's Pharaoh Missoula, I guess? I don't know. Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Now, this is the question that comes in with, with do you, what do you say to NPCs? What do you don't? What moves their quest lines? What doesn't? So, isn't Vidigree or Verdigree, ver it's a color. Oh, you must mean some more. Oh, it's just some more. Some more is a kind and stalwart ally. It provisions our little outfit. Yeah. Some more traffics with the forager brood. Hmm. His brethren, who collect supplies from all corners of the land. No doubt they find inspiration in his many virtues. These are not your foes tarnished. Should you spot any forager brood, be sure to mind your manners. I don't think there's been any forager brood yet. Tarnished. But calling him a brood, are they bugs? Many things we have found. <laughs> oh my god, he's so wholesome. That's when I pinch his cheeks. I just want to pinch his big old armory cheeks. We got another Skadu Tree Blessing. Let's go. Tier 4, Tier 4. Again, don't know how high it goes, but I'm not here to like do level 1 runs. Don't care. I'll uh, we'll grab a point in Arcane. Three points away from the only amount that I think I'll need, just so I have options with dragon breaths or maybe some bleed spells if, if the situation may arise I actually did it I don't know I'll have to look this up does black flames protection actually stack with golden vow I know there are some that there are some instances of things that don't stack together okay so let me see this this watchful spirit I wanted to see what this is all about. I got a skull buddy. Oh, 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 oh. It shoots off four projectiles. All right. So it is kind of like an incantation version of like the Karia swords or whatever that can float above your head and then fire off. Or like the, is it a glintstone thingy that can shoot off little zappy doos? So it's something like that for incantation or faith caster, which I am. Hello. Let's see how much damage it does. Uh, well, I mean, for free damage, it's a, basically a dot. I mean, a thousand damage per cast, roughly. So you just put it up and then I can go to town. It's actually pretty nice. It has pretty crazy tracking. It does take a while to cast, though. Not great to cast in combat, but you can just cast it and then, you know, be schwamping. Okay. That's kind of cool. A thousand per cast that happens when, like, you run away to reset. Huh. Interesting. Okie doke. I think we're mostly explored on this whole section now. Which means we have the north section. Grace is pointing us across. We have to go across the bridge. So we have sort of like this whole area with the water to explore, which if I was a betting man, which I'm really not, I've only been to Vegas once. I did win $300. If I, I bought in with 50 and turned it into 300, so up to 50, pretty good. Uh, I would say there's probably a mini boss over there in them there waters. Ah, 
Well met. That was a fine battle indeed. Oh, yeah. It heartens me that another warrior stands among us. Among the beckoned. That's for the damage to her helm. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Am I reading too much into this? Does she take battle damage over time? Is using her in battle what leads to her dying? Onion bro style? Is this, is this like onion sister? <laughs> I don't know. Long ago, I was stricken by scarlet rot in the swamp of Aeonia. Mm. Immobile, feverish, and in great pain. I was entirely resigned to death. I was left behind. And only kindly Mikola was good enough to seek me out. My wound was swollen and festering, exuding a most pungent odor. Yummy. And yet he drained the poison from it, despite my wretched visage. Now, I consider this wound my compass. Oh, okay. That was not what I was expecting. Let us both take kindly Mikola's guidance to heart. May we meet again on the battlefield, brave warrior. Oh, ask about the other man. Do you wonder why the eternally dour fellow keeps his distance? He's one of the hmm. tower's horn sent. I can only assume he fights for his own reasons and carries his own burdens. But we needn't concern ourselves with his affairs. He too was charmed by a kindly Mikola and guided here. And that makes us allies. We're not gods, you and I. Even if we did manage to dig up the secrets of his past, I doubt our meddling could ever amount to much. Hmm. Well, you may not be a god, but I keep coming back forever and forever and forever. I can't Let's die. Both take kindly Mikola's guidance. To maybe meet again. That's cool. Actually, has I dialogue after we fought together. That's neat. I urge you, follow after Mikola. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. Okay. Still looks like there's that upper plateau there. This is not... That's at the roadside terminus. I don't think that goes up there because that was underneath it. So unless that is just a plateau to be there, even though in the base game, when there was a giant plateau, you eventually got to go up there. Now let's go over here and explore real quick for a little bit. Getting some progress done. I feel like we've I've chewed through a lot. I've chewed through quite a bit. Got some dinguses on the road. Always to look to see if they have the glowing pot. Because the glowing pot guy is the one that drops the upgrade materials. Skill ahead? Oh, oh, so there's a pot guy? Or something else? Oh. Hello. Just trotting along. A lot of soapstone messages here for some reason. Didn't expect something incredible. The incredible ahead, then good luck. Ah, stomach. Ash of War, Savage Lion's Claw. An upgraded version of Lion's Claw? <laughs> this Ash of War grants the unarmament the heavy affinity and the following skill. Savage Lion's Claw. Skill of the particularly brave, even among the red mains. Somersaults forward, striking foes with armament. An additional strike may be performed with an additional input. Usable on swords, axes, and hammers. Small armaments and thrusting swords. Expe oh, accepted. Huh. Hmm. So, like, one-handed swords? And even thrusting swords? Hmm. So, Savage Lion's Claw, because there is just Lion's Claw? Yeah. So 
there's just so this upgrade look at the oh okay i see they they moved the model changed the armor and made it more about the the schwank okay we are not using ashes of war on our other weapons i would have to use something different but it's a very strength forward build usually to use that put that on the guts greatsword for example i'm sure that goes uh ham egg and cheese croissant which is this is a, such a huge vast all right that's the bridge we're eventually going to go over very soon Oh, got a side of grace before this. Because there's a town down here. And a bigger one, much bigger, up there. I wonder if there's a new healing fruit. Oh, well, there's a stake of... Oh. Actually, technically, it would be a, uh, if it doesn't have, yeah, it's probably the worm model, or the lesser dragon, because they're the devolved ones. That's definitely, I, I was thinking it'd be like a freaking mariner out there. Oh, it's all bugs. It's all bugs again. Really? Damn bugs. I don't know about watchful spirit. I don't know. It doesn't really cost a lot. 18. That's basically free. Especially if I put on the, uh, the tier. So I get some mana regen. It's basically free. So we can go back here first. Just so we're painting everything that we've walked past. Got a, a rundown, burnt out house with many items. That surely isn't a trap of some sort. That looks completely inviting. Just walk over here and loot all these items. Morning bird. <laughs> yep. People jumping off ledges here, trying to figure out where they can go. All right, let's get ambushed. Okay. Thank you. Why is it always door? Hidden path ahead. X. Although there is a losery wall like that in Kaled. We're up to four in the base game now. Was I remembering little bits and pieces? Run down Traveler's Rest. Oh, a furnace visage. Another furnace visage. Now oh, here's cookbook two. We have three of these now. I wonder what they can, what they are used to make. Record of crafting techniques. This one is hefty furnace pot. Oh, do you need the furnace visages to make a hefty furnace pot? Holy shit. Whoa. Throw at enemies to create a whirlwind of flame. It actually has a faith scaling. Excuse me? The giant's flame has B, but this has both strength, dex, and then A, faith. It's imbued with a hex of the furnace. Throw an enemy to create a whirlwind of flame. The furnace's flame burns away both body and soul. When the impurity is thus expunged, one calls it cleansing. That art is wild. It does take one visage and mesmer embers 
which are mainly found in Skadu Altus, which spoiler alert, I guess that's like this game's Altus Plateau. We have no idea where that is, of course, because we don't have the map for it, but one furnace visage each is probably a limited resource. At least potentially you only get a, an X amount. I don't know if they're ever farmable. Well, okay, so it wasn't a trap. It was just something off the beaten path in case you didn't see it. No trap ahead and then trap? Question mark? See? <laughs> even, uh, even, I, I have to applaud that. That's literally what I was saying this whole time. It wasn't a, it was no trap. Unless I'm missing something. I ran all the way around it. Nothing else is there. It's just rare material that you might miss if you don't fully explore. All right. This will be a larval tier, I take it. This is the glowy one. Yep. Precious item. I do have a lot of those now. So I don't really know how precious they are, considering I've only ever used one. This is the abandoned ailing village. Is this tiny one. Precious item ahead. More flies or flymen. Oh, and a uh, upgrade material. All right, damn. How rude. Um, that was such a weird animation. What the hell? What was that? The recovery. The recovery animation from that is so long and drawn out. Okay. I'm just going to keep getting bit by this one fly. I can't swing. Cause it keeps interrupting me. <laughs> that was annoying. Yep. Well, revered spirit ash. Thank you. Behold rump. Not wrong. Well, you know, we got to go fight that dragon, right? Ah, uh, house. Thank you. But is it road house? It might be. <laughs> we got some lore. Oh, how it hurts from very tip to toe. Ah, uh, help me. I must ask, am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so? Hey, tell you this, bud, but you're a ghost. A human ghost, though. Like, is that, I mean, look at the brights, I guess. You are a human ghost. There's that. Precious item ahead and then try night. Oh, those, those larval tears only show up at night. That's right. That's right. Because they only glow like that at night. We're already at Spirit Ash 5. So does this really go to like 20 or something? Okay. Let's give this dragon a shot. I wanted to make this episode a little bit shorter. The previous ones have all been quite girthy. So I think let's fight a dragon. Dragon fights are usually pretty. If it's even alive. Is it a zombie dragon? Could be.
Yeah, that makes sense. Could be a zombie dragon. Could be just a corpse too. Could just be a corpse. <laughs> Hit you with an X for that one. You think a zombie corpse, a, a dragon, <laughs> you think a zombie corpse. You think a dragon corpse just sitting in the middle of nowhere in a giant open area is going to be a total fake out. I see an item. I don't know what those yelling birds were earlier. I was getting yelled at, but I was just running around these like burial shrines, essentially, in that first first section in the plains. Just riding, walking by. It was like, Rah! this is like all these abductor cages. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we've got a... Uh-huh. It's like a dream ahead, but suffering ahead. Ruins ahead. Be wary of mimicry. Oh, is there... Usually there's a grace inside these, so is there a grace? What? That's quite the horror sting there. Did you hear that? Oh, there's a grace. Okay. The Bellarat Jail. Well, we will get the grace. But we're going to go back for that dragon. Oh, gosh. How do I... Oh. It... Okay. That's weird. We are under. But... There's no layers of this map. Okay. Well, we got that. We'll come back there later. So where we start next. How did someone die all the way out here? Ah, madness. My people. It's weird too, because I, I did the whole frenzy flame madness stuff for the ending because I thought it was neat, but it's also weird. I don't ever really use any of the spells because they're all kind of bad. <laughs> they're all kind of not good in PVE because you can't frenzy or madness enemies usually. And, or it doesn't ever really amount to anything. So I've just always just used faith, just pew pew. Black flame and stuff, so. Which I can always pivot to to lightning if need be, too. Since we're stacked on faith, right? But. Okay. Dragon time. I see a dragon. I'm gonna go throw fireballs at it. That was weird. Wakey wakey. Yeah, there's no way you're sleeping. <laughs> Ghost flame dragon, huh? All right, bud. What you got? I like your model. Oh, I tried running underneath it. I was a little slow. Ooh. 
Yep. Oh. Didn't close enough distance. I want to hit dragons in the head. They take full damage there or bonus or whatever. Oh god, it keeps going. I didn't expect it to keep going like that. Quite the length. Uh-huh. Oh, my buffs already ran out, unfortunately. Whoa! What? No! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was that was cool. I'll take that. We take those. But two. <laughs> it's like that's a new. That's a new animation. What's it gonna do? And then it nukes the area like it's Godzilla. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's give this dragon another go. I don't need these on my uh, hop bar anymore though. Ghost flame though. That's just for that's just magic damage, I feel, right? Oh now it's awake. Now it's just awake. Yep. <clears throat> that makes sense. Hello, I'm back. Big damage. Oh, the, the really that little tiny bit of the hitbox got me. It, it was slowly moving towards me, I guess. I thought I had right outside of it. That's funny. You be st oh god, it stomps ghost flame. Get us out of here. That's wild. Schwoven. That goes farther than you think. Hi. Oh crap. Cut me off. Oh god, yeah. Cut me off. Hello. Oh no, that's the big thing we're in AoEs. Woo! <laughs> oh, I thought I had time. I had uh no time. Oh, I'm on the I'm on the wrong weapon because I mounted. No, the goat! The poor goat. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's jumping, it's sliding, it's Okay. Woo! Oh, okay. We got a right hook, left hook going on. All right, bud. Oh, I was trying to jump at it. Oh, that's bad. Rawr. Rawr. 
is a dragon. Can I get you to do an attack animation, please? That works. Oh, come on. The pixels. The little tiny pixels on the very, very last little bit of that. Wow. It's so hard to black blade stuff in this DLC, man. It doesn't give you enough time to charge it up. And I dodge late. Apparently I... I thought I dodge rolled through that, but I did not. That's the big boom boom. Just out of range too. Well, I seriously, the range, it just, just gets to me. That's so fun. Usually I'm just on torrent, but I stopped being on torrent because of weird, weird casting button changes. So whatever, we'll torrent again, I guess. Monk. Got no heals. That's right. It stomps ghost flame. Yeah, see, less damage when you don't hit its head. Its head is harder to hit, of course, but... Oh. Damn it. Oh no, the sheep. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, come on. No, tore it down, man. <laughs> I didn't think. I didn't think that it had range on me. <laughs> it had just enough range on me. Just enough range. Well, hold on. Do 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 do. <laughs> Ghost flame though. Like, is that you? Just put magic on because it keeps clipping me just a little bit. I think it just counts as magic damage because not fire. It's technically frost damage, but there is no there's no real frost. Specifically, it just counts as magic, so. That was kind of bull, but whatever, it's fine. It just has, it has just, just enough. Just enough time. Yeah, because it builds up frost damage. It gets, it gets just, just there on the edge a couple of times. Get that opening volley all buffed up. Hello. Swoosh. How do you do? Open wide. Om nom 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 nom. Oh my god, it's so... Okay. I feel like they've made... They've adjusted that for sure. There's no way that's the normal width that that used to be. Damn it. I think its wings are all frayed, so it has more range for that, I guess. Oh, the rock hit me. Yeah, see, everything is just that little bit faster where it's hard to, uh, hard to get an extra moment. Just 
through them, especially on big targets. Yeah, see, wing damage is crap. Big boom boom. Charge it at me. Yep. I hit its wing. Oh my god. Wow, I couldn't even move from that one. All right. Definitely way more. Like the quickness of that attack. I may have killed every dragon in the base game, and then they, like they're all pretty much whatever. But that, uh, the speed at some of those lunges are very, very heightened where you have to already be reacting as you see the windups. That's refreshing. It's just a regular dragon. I think his, his attacks are way larger because of his weird frayed wings. Attack it from behind and got super pissed, I guess. That's fun. I got no mana. Oh, I can get in there. I think the corners go farther than the middle. Wow. See, like you think you have a moment because it just got done breathing, but you just don't have a attack window. That's not how the dragons would react before. Wow. Missing all these hits. Garbage damage. Of course, just ducked. Damn you, wing. It's the big AOE. Keep just right passing it. Oh, come on. Oh, you get like one attack now. Maybe. Big damage. I don't know if I can, if I can jump that or if that's just the stomp timing. Immediately turns and walks away. Oh my gosh, the the window for that is so weird. Feels like it's just just too high above me for that without casting on it. Hello. 
I mean, you can just keep hitting his feet for half damage. Oh no, all the wildlife. Nah, I rolled too late. Because if it just hit his head, it just it'll fall over. That's how you do real poise damage to dragons. Just hit, hit them in the head. Oh, okay. I thought you went over me. Did not go over me, in fact. Distance rolls. Probably not a good idea. Did your head collide with me after I rolled? That's bad. Whoops. This guy's kind of a butthole. Man, am I just, I'm not getting that roll spacing. Hi, right, come here. Such a terrible distance thing. That's why I just keep throwing spells. What? What was that? Oosh. It's to do with like just missing a lot though, because of the uh, wiggly head movements. One more should be good. Wow. It just it, wow. See? The amount of time it takes for it to wind up is so little. I feel like I had time to fire off a spell and it just attacks me. That's funny. Peck those ankles. I don't know. Hitting the Doing 400 damage to the leg versus 1200 damage to the head. I mean, at the end there, I should have just ran away, I guess, and gotten safe, but I felt like I had one, I had time to cast, and then in the span of like a second, it swipes twice. Oh, stuck. If I could, I probably should have just black bladed it there at the end. Because it would have taken off max HP. What was that aiming? Oh, I still got it. That's good. I was throwing my spell out. Dude. <laughs> the speed at which it... Wow. Yep. This might be a bit of a theme I'm, I'm gathering. I'm gathering a bit of a theme now. I didn't really notice it because I monster mashed uh, before, but uh, I'm noticing a bit of a theme here. That if you if you mess up an approach, you're not going to be able to recover because they will attack again. There's less um, like forgiveness time for if you are engaging. Because I, I just threw the spell and I immediately went to dash and I was already in the wrong spot. So I get hit. So, yeah, it's just uh, a tighter window. On, uh, on how that works, I guess. I'm 
More nukes. Get in there, me. Oh, I should have hit. Lame. Getting pushed. God, it, it's... Look at how far away I am. Just a bonkers amount of distance with that swing attack. Wow. All right. And that's unfortunate. Thought I was far enough away. Just, just, just barely too close. That also does so much damage, even with the, uh, the magic talisman on. Wow. What? I was having the same problem, mimic me. Having the same problem. It's so big, yet it's always so far away. Of course. And I'm already in the animation, so I can do anything about it. Once I start swinging, I can't stop. Hi. Oh, wrong button. It was not moving towards me. It was moving away. I rolled just a fraction too early, I guess. Of course. <clears throat> what are we doing? The regular fire breath? Okie dokie. Okie doke. Are we got to charge at me now? No, nope. regular fire breath again. Oh, the sweeping one. Oh, okay. Does that just go forever? I, okay. <laughs> I feel like I am so, so far away. And it's like, yeah, gotcha. Cause that's outside of the range of all of my spells. I don't have range that far. Like pest threads <laughs> could do that. Like you could do this. You know what? If if you, Mr. Dragon, Mrs. Dragon, whatever, have super long range fire attacks when I feel like I am wicked far away, these hitboxes are absolutely wild. And you know what? I'll put on some wicked, stupid, wild ranged attacks. How about that? You smart ass. Ding -a ding. Wrong button. Where's that head? Give me that head. We, we could do this. I, I don't care. Get 
Get away, mimic me. Get away. Oh no, mimic me. Dude, Pesterance is so stupid. Okay, you collided with my model, I guess. Get past threads, dingus. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it to you, but you made me do it to you. <laughs> oh, a dragon heart and a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Pest threads. So stupid. As long as you're in range, it's basically auto tracking. The great katana. Ooh. 55 blood loss. What's the stats? 18 decks. Hmm. We got that, baby. Mm, maybe I might try out the great katana. Put it to plus nine. See how it works. It's only pure physical blood loss. Doesn't have any faith scaling strength decks. Overhead stance, a skill that starts with the blade held high in a ready stance. Execute a normal attack from this stance to step forward and slash downwards, or a strong attack to deliver a series of downward slashes. That is a technique. Yeah. Large katana. Katana! With a long, heavy blade. Weapon unique to warriors from the land of reeds. Designed for regression, this armament requires the wielder to throw their entire body into swinging it. The slashing attacks of its honed edge incite blood loss. Well, you, you know we gotta at least give it a... This is actually one of the first new weapons that I can actually use. Because the other one was like a big mace <laughs> that I couldn't use. It's been two maces? It's been two maces so far, if I recall, right? It's been two big maces. The one's the bone was that bone mace and then what was this mace was there anything else oh the fist weapons i had two fist weapons which i guess i could use one of the fist weapons but i can't use these and i could use these but i don't have the build for it and i got a bow <laughs> there was a bow in there somewhere all right so where is large katana is it great? Katana. It's not upgraded right now. Holy shit, I'm Sephiroth. Actually, no. It's too too thick to be the Masamim. Time for sleep. Alright. Good night. I mean, Ghost Flame Dragon is a good way to end. This episode still wasn't any much shorter than I was hoping for. I wanna see what this sword's all about though. Whoa, the poise damage. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a single strike. The light one is a single strike. And then it resets. Or you do multiple like this. Still cost FP because it's their weapon art. All right. It's definitely slow. Let's two hand it. Whoa. It's all, it's basically base damage right now because I'm not. Look at that scabbard on my back though. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. So what's this rolling? Rolling poke, that makes sense. No rolling heavy. What's the full combo? One, two. Four hit combo? Four hit light attack combo. It is it is svelte. Look at this thing.
Yeah, it has a reset time versus. Huh. That's super cool. Try holy. Well, I I mean I did, and then I just broke out the pest threads because I got frustrated with with tracking. <laughs> with trying to track fireballs onto large target. Because pest threads uh is great when the target is big. Since they all can hit, even if it's not hitting its head, it's hitting its wings and stuff. Yeah, could have done that from the beginning, but Pest Reds is kind of... I mean, if it's in the game, it's not cheese, right? And I was summoning my Mimic Tear, because Mimic Tear just goes in there and throws a bunch of damage. But... Pest Threads is... Very silly. But yeah, that'll do it. Thank you for watching. If you're watching live or if you've been watching on the YouTube playlist, of course, there's tons more, but I'm bad. Different levels of commentary and cringe, but the forehead always remains. I think we'll go into that cave right there coming up next. Speaking of which, might as well run down there. If you want to watch some more, there's playlists down below, or if you've been watching live, you know how things have been going. Maybe I'll go upgrade this uh, katana. I can easily make it plus nine, I'm pretty sure. I have a bajillion mats. Hmm, I don't have as many as I thought I did. And you can buy everything up to... Uh, up to eights anyway. It might... It, I don't think it's somber. Technically, I could even make it plus 25 because I have seven of those. I'm not even using them. But there are so many other weapons. I know I want... I'm looking out for the the light greatsword. I am definitely looking forward to that one. That seems super neat. But until then, I'll see you. All right.